Hey, welcome back to another video on my channel. And um, in this video, I want to show you how you can use your voice as a phase input signal to an oscillator. But before I show you that, um, I want to encourage you to join my Discord. As you can see on the screen, I have a Discord and where you can ask me questions or yeah, uh, ask me about certain presets you want to have or samples or something like that. Or you want to see a video uh, from a different topic you care about. And um, I also released um, the two projects from the last screen sessions here on YouTube um, in my GitHub and in the chat here. So you can go there and download the project and uh, yeah, tweak it and yeah, maybe get something from it. So that's just for your information. Um, so back to the topic, I want to show you how you can create uh, sounds with your voice. And if you have this pulley grid here and in the default setup, you have a triangle oscillator and you can use the hardware input module here and use it as a phase input to actually phase distort the triangle oscillator. And I'm choosing here my, my voice or my microphone as an input. And when you drive it up, you can't hear nothing because um, I need to press actually a button. And uh, uh, when you can hear, I actually have to mute my mic, so I'm back. I, I'll be back. Yeah, that's a great way of creating uh, overtones for uh, bass lines or lead sounds, I don't know. But um, there's also a nice way of shaping your voice before you put it into the face input check here and just use some kind of distortion. And sometimes I use um, a high pass and a low pass maybe to just um, constrain the input signal a bit something like this let's try it um, yeah and you can of course just record that um, use input polygrid output and just record some some bits into a sampler. And have a great baseline. I think it's F.
I'll just pff, maybe use it as a wave table. Go to cycles mode here, speed to zero. Yeah, maybe use a macro to um, actually just offset the position a little bit. can create pretty interesting sounds with the uh, with your voice and as a, as a phase input signal in the grid and there's another uh, possibility when you go into the grid here back again let's delete the filtering and the distortion and you can use the zero crossing uh, module and what this module does is basically when you have a sine wave and every time the sine wave uh, crosses the zero line and you measure the distance between the those points you can came up, come up with a um, rough pitch estimation so you have uh, at best a nice pitch signal coming out of this module here and you can use this pitch signal as an input for an oscillator and um, yeah, should be uh, should be possible that you can sing and the f oscillator is following following your pitch, right? So let's try that. So, also a possibility. Um, this module never worked for me quite right. I don't know if it's bugged or I'm doing something wrong, but I think you have to make a lot of filtering before so you end up with a clean sine wave that's easy to measure. But um, you get nonetheless um, interesting sounds out of it. And yeah. Try this out, it's a great uh, great trick, and I think you can do this in any other DAW at the moment, or VST, uh, using your voice as an input for phase modulation or frequency modulation. It's pretty interesting, and you can come up with the nice crowl sounds, or bass lines, or overtones. Try it out, it's, it's fun. And you don't need a great mic, just use some regular, microphone it's just so you have an interesting uh, phase signal as an input and yeah that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching and i see you in the next one bye <laughs>